Tactical. Back with another blade. Yes, finally gonna do another folder. I know I get requests to do this, do that. I'm trying. <laughs> Doing the best I can, guys. Yeah. But here's something on the budget side. This was requested by a, a good friend, so I thought I'd do it. And it's cheap enough to do. You know, a lot of people say, oh, test this $300 knife and this $200. I would love to just buy everything, but I can't. And when something's cheaper, then it's more likely I can just go out and buy it. Now, this was $25, so I had to give it a shot. Now, this is the Elite Tactical Devil Dog Budget Price Blade. It's kind of like remnants of a, a ZT. My brother, we all juggle knives, did a bit on it. Very good bid. But today, we're going to give it a little bit of a whooping, see what it'll take. Now, the dimensions on it, it's 8.5 inches overall. Blade length is 3.5 inch. I'll get ready for this. The weight. Dun, dun, dun. If you're a tmp -er, you're not going to want this knife. It is 10 and a quarter ounces. Yeah, that's freaking heavy. So, that's like 2 ounces more than like a ZTO 200. The steel is a 440C. And the handle scales are G10. It's a drop point configuration with a partial hollow grind. Closer inspection of this thing. Now that G10, it's real G10, and it's actually really grippy. I was surprised. A uh, four-way positionable pocket clip. Look at the size of that pivot bolt. Holy shit. That thing is a freaking beast. They kind of, they tried to model it after a ZT. Big, beefy, overbuilt. Here's that partial hollow grind drop point. A little bit of a swedge up top. Now the thickness is pretty decent. I didn't measure it, but that's got to be like 0 .150, 140, something like that. It's, it's pretty damn beefy. Uh, you got dual thumb studs for the opening. And you also have a flipper. Now the flipper is really stumpy. So if you don't use any wrist movement, it's not going to happen really. Unless you're pointing it straight down. It hit my sleeve. Hold on, let me pull my jacket up. I can get it just to do it if I'm pointing down so the weight, you know, does it. But if I'm like this, I can't do it. Won't do it. So I got to give it a little bit of a wrist, but just a tiny bit. And it just had to be broken. At first, it wasn't this smooth, but then I just kept open, close, open, close. And it got smoother. So there's your pocket clip. I got it in the tip down or tip up configuration right now. A little bit of a choil there. And the flipper also helps as almost like a hilt, stops you from going forward. A little bit of jimp in there. Partially open construction, there's your spacer. There's a liner lock. And it's really early, I don't know if you can see in there because it's dark out, but I'm trying to tip it, there you go. Very early lock up. And the centering, I was surprised, this one's dead on. I don't usually do this with folders much. I don't usually go out and test them. Sometimes the lower price stuff I will, but please don't expect me to come out here and whoop on a $300 folder unless it's given to me and they want me to test it, then I'll do it. But if not, man, I just ain't, I can't afford it. So sorry, guys. But here we go. We're going to check out the initial sharpness. Yeah, nice, up close and personal. I'll do some really light ones. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good sign. Definitely. Work our way down the blade. Yeah. So far, so good. Whoops, sorry, I didn't have it in screen. <laughs> sorry, guys. Now I'm going to bury this mother. Beep. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. High initial sharpness. Not bad. You know, not like as sharp as that blackjack. You know, attack Ops 8 or nothing, but definitely sharp. Pick a new spot. But it just sinks right in there. You can see that. You can weigh down here. So it's definitely sharp enough. Now I'm a little nervous to be doing this with a folder. I'm going to chop at it a little bit. This is a big piece of wood too. I'm not going to totally whale it. You know, because I don't want it to fail the mechanism. You know, because it ain't a fixed blade. But I'll do a little bit just for testing sake. Okay. I'm already reminded this is a folder. <laughs> yeah, it ain't hacking like no fixed blade. It is doing stuff though. It's funny because there is some weight behind this. Eh, not a ton, but hey, it is a folder. Now let's check this lock up because this is what I'm worried about. You know, you don't want to hyperextend shit, and it already looks like I moved the liner over a little bit. But not really. It's pretty much just where it was. 
yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing this with folders, guys. But it's a test, and I'm just doing it for everybody. So you guys don't have to. Do a couple hammer stabs, see how this feels. Hopefully my aim's not crappy today. So far, so good. It's definitely a block of friggin'. You know, that handle is huge, but it's, it's not hurting yet. Oh, so far, so good. And it's funny, that pocket clip right where it is, see where my finger's on it, it helps. It's even more security of not sliding forward. Just gonna do a couple thrusts into this two by four, see how that is. This might hurt. And then we got that jimping, so let's give it a shot. Oops, already knocking shit over. It's funny how much less this actually sinks in. You know, if I chose a piece of wood right next to it, it'd be sinking in a, a lot more, because this is dead. As you can see, yeah, check it out. But let's take a regular log. And let's see how it, it performs. See how much more it sticks in already? That's a good amount more. So you can tell how much more denser you know, lumber is. And I did take a look earlier, and as you can see yourself, it did break in a little bit more, the liner. So yeah, I don't recommend doing any of this shit with your folders, but it's still opening smooth. It's actually, it seems smoother. Well, I almost can do it without wrist, but still a little bit of wrist. But still the lockup is good, so it ain't like I tweaked it or anything, but it did move over just a little bit. Just to give you a quick close up of the finish, after that little bit of chopping and stabbing, uh, I see pretty much nothing. Looks like I didn't even use it. Other side, same thing. Even take a look at the edge. The edge is perfect. So at least the 440C seems like they did it right. You know, I've never tried this brand before, but I thought for 25 bucks, what the hell. So I'm not gonna baton this thing, just to let you know. <laughs> not gonna go that far. I could do some light batoning, but eh. Just what I did to it was harder than you're gonna use most folders. You know, you're usually gonna grab a fixed blade if you're doing any kind of this stuff. So, that was good enough for a folder. Rate it one to 10. See, this is one of those cases where it's almost tough to rate it, how to rate it, because of the price. You know, it's, okay, say there's no price in it, just the knife as is, what would I rate it? One to 10. I'd at least have to give it a six and a quarter. At least, maybe a six and a half. It is pretty tough little knife. So far, so good. Yeah, you know, it's not the highest fit and finish, but it's actually really good. It's not a ZT, I'll say that. But for 25 bucks, if you did rate it on price, 25 bucks, then it'd be worth like an eight and a half. You know, it'd at least be that high. But just as it sits, you know, not saying money-wise, I'd give it probably a six and a half, and I would recommend it especially for the 25 bucks. You can't afford a ZT? Hey, there you go, man. <laughs> Hopefully that was helpful to some of you guys. Thanks for stopping by, checking out this quick vid. And until the next time we meet.